Welcome back! We are currently in Iceland right now, having just visited an old colleague, Dr. Heimdall, who has given us a couple of leads that we can follow up on in order to find the mythical city of Atlantis, hopefully, before uh, Kerner and his friend Dr. Uberman do. Let's head for the airport. But right now, our immediate goal is to hopefully find out more about this book called Plato's Lost Dialogue. And Heimdall gave us the name of two men, um, Sternhart and Costa, that we can talk to. And I'm going to visit them in that order. Sternhart is located here in Teak Hall, and uh, Costa is located in the Azores. So I'll go here first. And you'll notice that since we left uh, New York, Indy's been carrying not only his clothes with him, but his whip. It's my favorite piece of equipment. Indeed. Hopefully we can use it here soon. You got anything to say about the uh, jungle, Sophia? Listen. Yes? How do you like the tropics? You're the one who's afraid of snakes. Yeah, Great. Indy. Thanks for reminding me. Exactly, you didn't even think of that before he came here, man. Looks like the end of the road. There's got to be a way through. Well, what do we do now? We probably should find Sternhart. But I'm not setting foot in that malaria-infested hole. Oh, come on, Sophia. Be adventurous. Doesn't look like there's any way over there. Nor is there anything to look at up there. So it's a matter of getting through this jungle, it would seem. And there's some sort of animal or something in here. Jungle rodent. Can we talk to him? Nope, he runs away from us. Hmm. What about this path? They all seem to twist around each other. There we go, that worked. Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of this. I'm not getting any closer to that snake. <laughs> I love that music. I always thought that was really funny. Let's see, can we whip the snake? It's my favorite piece of equipment. Let's try to use this whip on the snake. Maybe it'll scare it and it'll fall into the hole. That doesn't seem to work. Nope, that doesn't work. What about the parrot? Does the parrot have anything to say? I can't talk to that bird from here. Apparently it's too far away, so that's not going to do the trick. But maybe this animal here might be able to help us out. I hate to do this, but uh, there doesn't seem to be any other way. We might just have to use this thing as bait. But since it seems to run away from us... Looks like we might have to use the whip on it. So it seems like the trick is going to be to get it over here. To where we're, we were currently standing. So let's see if we can get it in my whip. front of that entrance. I feel so bad for this thing. Whoops. It could be useful in the right spot. Yeah, I'm trying to click on the right spots. There you that go. That critter's too far away. Oh, right. That's my whip. I'm still getting used to this again. It's been a little while since I played this game before I started the LP. Okay. That critter's too far away. I'm guessing we're going to need to be over here to do it. This part is a little finicky, I gotta admit. No, I don't want to come back out here. Come on, Indy. Okay, there you go. Perfect. There we go. Okay. I can't remember. Do we have to use the whip on him again, or just walk to him? There we go. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Good old Mother Nature. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just thought that part was just so funny. I, I feel bad for that rodent though. Oh, and the snake. I mean, the snake isn't exactly mean. He's just defending himself. But okay. Well, now that we've gotten them taken care of, let's see if we can use this tree as a bridge. There we go. Wow, some bridge. Hi, Indy. Uh, how did you get over here? Hello. Yeah. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. Really? What do we do now? We better find Sternhard. I killed that snake and that rodent for nothing. Let me see that path. Okay, you know, I gotta admit, I tried to go over here earlier. Well, at least we won't have to go through the jungle ever again, so that's reassuring. Let's check out this uh, trinket stand here. Just a minute. Uh-oh. That's my shop. Sternheart, I presume? Can I help you with something? Postcard, replicas of the temple, souvenir mugs. Sounds like this guy has set up shop here. Uh, no thanks, Mr. Charles Sternhardt, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. Great. Just the person we were looking for. Well, what can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Yeah. Oh, no. We've run into this Mr. Smith before. What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the lost dialogue. Well, it's certainly looking more and more like, um, Kerner and Uberman are after Atlantis, and Sophia probably is right about why. What can you tell us about the temple? Glad you asked. The locals play Mayan Indian suit. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages, or does it seem much too civilized? Well, it depends. Can we have a look inside? Can we take a look inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. Well, I wish we still had that, uh... Wait a minute, we do have the, the uh, magazine here, don't we? Why can't we just show them that? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones, is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. Actually, it was the name of a dog. <laughs> Sophia! <laughs> Way to go, Sophia. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Wait, it has a name? Uh, I don't like any of these names. I don't know the title. You're no student of Atlantis, then. Of course not, we just found out about it. Uh, Sophia, do you know anything? Excuse me. Yes? I guess not. What do we do now? We could talk to Sternhardt again, or we could move on. Well, let's take a look around here a little bit more. That bird seemed to know something. Let's see if uh, we can get some information out of it. Especially if he's been hanging around here with Sternhardt. <coughs> Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Title? Hermocrates, a friend of Socrates. All right, so Hermocrates must be the title. Let's see if we can get Sternhard back here, and maybe we can try to sneak into the temple. But I doubt that's gonna work. Stop. Nope. Begging your pardon, you can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. We're experienced with unsafe temples. Excuse me. Yes? What are you talking about? 
about exploring the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. The Hermocrates. The Hermocrates. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. Yeah, because that's all you need to know. I don't know. trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. Yeah. Come on. Here we are. Let's see what you can do. I was going to say, na knowing the name of the Lost Dialogue of Plato is all you need in order to be a reputable Atlantis scholar. Well, it doesn't look like this is a very big area, but there seems to be some sort of door or something there. What's this thing, though? Looks like it could use a nose. Hmm. Engraved symbols of water and life. Interesting. This one seems to be a bit different, though. This one looks different, more deeply etched. Huh. Can we pick it up? I can't. Years of tarnish have it all gummed up. Well, it looks like we're going to need something to ungum it up. Maybe Sternhardt has something for us. Say there. Yes? Don't you have to keep an eye on your store? Oh, I'm sure it's safe. I'd much rather keep an eye on you. Aw. Well, it was worth a shot. Maybe he'll have something for us. Listen. Yes? So you've never found anything here? No, I'm stumped. Well, if that's the case, why is this place so dangerous? I mean, there's no booby traps in here that I've seen, at least not yet. But, if he doesn't have something for us in here, maybe we can look outside. There's a kerosene lamp out there, but since he's very protective of his store, and won't let us take anything, then we're going to need to find another way to get rid of him in order to do so. Now, it seems like he's very keen on keeping an eye out on us, but he can't really keep an eye on both of us at the same time now, can he? Let's see if we can use Sophia to create a diversion. Whoop. I can't click on her. There you go. Excuse me, Sophia. What's up? Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. There we go. That should keep them busy while we go outside and get this lamp. <laughs> Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. Indeed. Thankfully we've hidden it away, so you won't be able to tell that we're using it. Alright, let's see if we can use this thing here on this... Excuse me, won't you? Uh-oh. Let's see what your friend is up to. Oh, come on, man. Okay, so maybe he will have to see us use it, but it's all in the name of science, right? The kerosene won't pour out. Oh, right. We need to open so, the lamp. You took my lamp, eh? I hope you know what you're doing. Aw, he found out. Well, it was bound to happen anyway. Okay, now let's try this. Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Remarkable. All right, so does that mean we can pick it up? Now I got it. Perfect. Marvelous. Now we're talking, huh? Alright, so now let's use this thing on this. Maybe it fits in here? It fits perfectly. Now awesome. it looks kind of like an elephant. Amazing! <laughs> I love how he's suddenly impressed now. Okay, well let's see if it does anything when we pull on it. Looks like it could be a lever of some sort. Look <gasps> at that! Astonishing! <laughs> Bless my soul, the tomb of an Atlantean king! Is that a human being? ...with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a wheatstone. At last I have the thing. Goodbye, fellow seekers. Hey! Oh no, he got away! But we wanted that worldstone thingy. But what's this here? 
Shiny bead? Is this another one of those beads? Too bad for Sternhardt. He missed the Oracalcum bead. Aha! Uh -huh. It's just like the bead that Sophia showed us earlier. Let's see, is there anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and head back. Well, I'd say we made some progress. We got an Orc Halcom beat, even though this uh, stone disc thing was lost in the process. But you never know, we might be able to catch up with Sternheart later on. But in the meantime, we need to visit Costa. But before we do that, I'm going to go and visit Dr. Heimdall again, and see how he's doing with that stone, or whatever that eel thing is made out of, in the next video.